Hi, everyone. I'm Steve Adubato. You're going to see, uh, if, unless you see already, so that's Michelle Sikirka, President and CEO of the New Jersey Business and Industry Association. We are doing a program all about women in leadership. Um, first of all, welcome, Michelle. Nice to see you again, Steve. As always, we'll put up the website of NJBIA, but tell everyone about the seventh annual forum that took place on women in business at the BIA. At BIA. Well, it was extraordinary. Um, we kicked off the seventh annual Women Business Leaders Forum live, which for many women was the first time they came out. Actually, women and men. We had a lot of men there that evening as well. Wonderful reception, great way to trigger some momentum for what was then a two-day um, set of panels and keynotes and TED Talks with some extremely dynamic women who shared some inspiring stories, but at the same time shared some hardcore leadership skill-building tips. Michelle, um, again, we've heard so many. We have two of the people who participated. I believe Joetta, who joins us, uh, and also Carrie uh, Barrett, right? Correct, yeah. Carrie's terrific, and so is Joetta. You had so many people come in to, to make a difference for the women who were there. Describe some of the most significant challenges facing women in business uh, at the end of 2021 going into 2022. Well, let's talk about right now that this is an unprecedented time when it comes to our workforce, the hiring crisis, and the disparate impact it's had on women. You know, people say, why do we still have to do these types of programs for women? Well, let me say that uh, COVID has had an extremely disparate impact on um, working women, uh, and particularly those uh, childbearing. We had 1.8 million women across the entire nation leave the workforce last year. One out of four, okay? Many because of childcare issues. You know, if you don't have a safe place to put your child, you can't get back to work. Uh, Steve, you know, we have the lowest labor participation rate by women right now in over three decades in over three decades. And if women were in the labor force to the extent that men were today, our GDP would be 5% more. So stay on this for a second, because you talk about some of these challenges, and by the way, the Business and Industry Association, NJBA has been focused on this. Michelle's been with us in so many different situations. She's also joined us to talk leadership, which I'm gonna talk about in a second. So this is what hits me as you talk about the pressures and the stress disproportionately falling on women in the workplace, in business, et cetera. Here's a question. Um, mental health, work-life balance. I mean, seriously? How the heck were you supposed to spin plates and throw balls up in the air and, I mean. Especially over the last year when you were, um, you know, your children were being taught from home uh, and yet again, they had to be overseen and supervised. Oftentimes, uh, the way the education was taking place, a parent had to assist the child, especially young children with technology, uh, not, not just helping with homework, like when they came home after school. And then because online learning really truncated the school day, um, you had kids without something to do for many hours in the day that now the parents were the educators, they were also the friends, and you know they were the play dates. Uh, and all of that, while we as employers invaded their home while they were living at work. Some call it working from home, but guess what? Many of them are living at work and we're in their yeah. homes, their private space. So talk about this. Uh, you know, uh, Michelle and I have done so many leadership seminars together. Um, we talk about this all the time. So when it comes to wellness, um, and I've been focusing on it a lot in my, my leadership coaching, and the reason is this, I don't see how you can separate work, uh, your work life and your home life anymore, and COVID has only laid that bare even more. How do you, on a very personal level, um, create a, a sense of, even if it's not balanced, but a sense of work-life integra integration and wellness that works for you that would be helpful to other women watching? Yeah, let me tell you, it's taken me a long time and it's a lot of discipline. Um, and you know, I have forced myself to be disciplined in my actions. And so, you know, I get up in the morning and I make sure I get out and I get my exercise uh, to really juice up my brain before I tether myself to the computer for 12 hours uh, at a minimum, okay? Um, I'll tell you that uh, I committed to my husband of leaving the home office during COVID uh, at 6.30 every evening um, because- Are you really? I, well, we, uh, with a minor exception, and now we know the world is opening, we're out at events, we're back hybrid, you know, I'm out and about, right? But throughout COVID and, and still to this day, you know, shut down that home office and spend time with your significant others. Uh, you need that connectivity. 
right? When the weekend comes, I make sure now I always have a, I always have a book to read. I've done more reading in the last few years than I did in the first 30 years of my profession, okay? And not just self-help books because my reading was always like, oh, I should be reading in order to improve myself professionally. Okay, yes. <laughs> I've learned how to read read for read for pleasure as well. And I usually have I'm one sorry, of each at the same time. I'm sorry, read for what? For pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> And I'll tell you one more thing, Steve, in the middle of COVID, seriously, there was a point in time I said to my husband, I refuse to be the only person alive who did not binge watch something through COVID because that's what I felt was happening. <laughs> uh, and by the way, she, everyone should be bin, binge watching public broadcasting. I'm sorry. I just, but I'm, I'm going to say <laughs> that this. That was my go-to. <laughs> there it is. And by the way, NJBIA is one of our media uh, partners and we collaborate with them on a whole range of things. Michelle, before I let you go, the, the, the two women that we're about to see, Joetta and Carrie, Barrett, why are they, again, people watch segments individually, but those two women, why are they so significant, particularly with the conference that you held, the forum? Well, let me say that Kerry brought an extraordinary experience of a woman in media and how she was coming up um, and how she uh, had to create her own discipline and, her, and, and address and lean into the challenges and then realize at one point, you know what? I'm just going to do something else because uh, I've tried my best here. And for myself, I'm, I'm now going to go and take all my professionalism that I learned and put it to another energy. Joetta, you know, a, a, an athlete, oh my gosh, right? An athlete who an you Olympian. think, okay, yeah, she's, she's, she's fantastic. And she had her leadership garden that she talks about, right? And she talks about, um, you know, reaching above the knot. Uh, and how, you know, when you reach above, you also reach back. And she talks about a strong mind has to do with a strong body and a strong will. And those things all go together. And if we don't pay more attention to our strong bodies, to have our strong minds and our strong will, uh, we're not going to make it. We're just not going to make it. Well said. That's Michelle Sikirka, president and CEO of the New Jersey Business and Industry Association. Um, this program dedicated to women in leadership, women in business. Michelle, uh, thank you, my friend. Always a pleasure, Steve. Be well. Same here. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Many of New Jersey's children have been affected by COVID-19, but now that there is a safe and effective vaccine available for children ages 12 and older, you can help make COVID-19 history by getting yourself and your child vaccinated. Let's end this pandemic together and help all children get back to being kids. Visit hagentechmeridianhealth.org slash COVID-19 to learn more or to schedule a vaccine appointment today. Also brought to you by Hackensack Meridian Health. Keep getting better. Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey. Here when you need us most. Now and always. IBEW Local 102. Lighting the path, leading the way. The New Jersey Economic Development Authority. TD Bank. Choose New Jersey. Summit Health. A provider of primary, specialty, and urgent care. Johnson & Johnson. And by the New Jersey Board of Public Utilities Clean Energy Program.